and welcome to this month's installment of Park Place Views, brought to you by the City of Janesville and JATV Media Services. I'm your host, Andrew Eppin. This program aims to keep Janesville residents informed by highlighting the people, places, projects, and events in the City of Janesville. On last month's episode, I talked with City <coughs> Clerk Treasurer Dave Godek and learned about several functions of the City's Clerk Treasurer's Office, including elections, licensings, tax billing, and more. If you want to watch any previous Park Place Views episodes, they are available to watch on our website or on YouTube. On this month's episode, we're going to take an inside look into the Senior Center and the fun activities and membership benefits that they provide to the citizens of Janesville. I'm here with Senior Center Supervisor Janet McLean. Welcome, thank, Janet. Thank you for having me. Janet has worked for the City of Janesville since 1993 when she was hired as a Senior Center Programmer. Janet was promoted to Senior Center Supervisor in March of 2003. Prior to working in Janesville, she was a part-time instructor for the Sheboygan Recreation Department. Janet has a Bachelor of Science degree in Education from UWIR and is a Certified Ceramics Instructor. Now Janet, I've talked a little bit about your history. Can you tell us a little bit more about yourself? Well, I'm married. I have two sons, a stepson, and two grandchildren. Okay, so my first question for you is, to enjoy the benefits of the Senior Center, one must become a member. First of all, how old must somebody be? You only have to be age 50 to become a member of our Senior Center. I know a lot of people think it's 55, but it's only age 50. Okay, so how much does this membership cost? Well, our membership is for one year, and it's $25, and that would be from our fiscal year of January 1st through December 31st. Okay, so do the membership fees pay for the Senior Center in its entirety? Or are there any other costs that go towards uh, keeping it going? Well, the $25 offsets the expense of running our facility, so that's where your $25 will go. Okay, so if somebody wanted mm -hmm. to become a member, how would they go about doing that? Basically, just stop in at our Senior Center. Um, we, have, we fill out the form, pay the money, and then we give you a little membership card that says you're a member of the Senior Center. Okay. So are all activities at the Senior Center for members only, or can non-members take part as well? Well, we actually have a policy at our Senior Center, and you can come three times and participate in any of the programs that we offer, and then we ask that you pay the membership. Um, our membership is a mandatory membership fee, and the Senior Centers throughout Wisconsin, we are the only one that has a mandatory membership fee. Okay, so as of today, how many members do you have at the Senior Center? Uh, to date, we have 798. We're getting close to that 800. Okay, so close to the big 800, which will be a big milestone for you. Yes, um, last year we did make um, 813 members, so we're hoping to outdo do that uh, this year. Okay, so the Senior Center has a board of directors as well. What are the functions of this board of directors? Well, our Senior Center board is actually an advisory board to the Senior Center. They don't make policies, um, but they do do a lot of wonderful things for our Senior Center. They are able to um, fundraise, and uh, what they do is the money that they raise, they turn back into our Senior Center and buy things that we need. For example, in 2000 when we were renovated, um, there was not enough money in the renovation to put in a room divider upstairs so we can do more programming, so our board um, purchased that that and put that in for us. So now we're able to do more programming in our upstairs uh, large room. Okay, so they're doing a lot of great things for the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that uh, people might not know about the Senior Center is that it's actually part of the city of Janesville. Where does the Senior Center fall under the, the city of Janesville? Well, we actually fall under the uh, recreation division of the city, which is right up there where the ice arena and the pools, and uh, so that's the area that we fall in is recreation. Okay, so you always seem to be very busy at the Senior Center. Is there any other full-time workers there? Yes, we have one other full-time person, and that's Linda Clevin. And she started at the Senior Center um, April 1st. She is a replacement for Pat Tobin, who retired um, this past January. And now Linda is there, and she comes to us from RSVP, which is the reti Retired Senior Volunteer Program of Rock County. And she was there 17 years. So she was been working with seniors for quite some time, so it was a nice progression right into our Senior Center with her. Okay, great. So still, there's only two of you working mm -hmm. at the Senior Center. How can you possibly put on all the different kind of activities that you put on? Well, we couldn't do it without the volunteers that we have at our Senior Center. Um, for example, when you come in our front door at our front desk, all of the people at, that sit at the desk there are volunteers. 
volunteers. They um, greet the people that come in, they answer the phone, they take reservations, they also take payments. So that's one of the areas where we need volunteers is at our front desk. Okay, great. So one of the good benefits about the Senior Center is the different kind of classes that you have. Can you talk to me about different kind of dance or fitness classes that you have? Um, sure. Um, with the fitness classes that we have um, mon um, every day of the week from at 8.30 to 9.30, we have an exercise class. And that is um, you, any of the members that can come. There's no extra charge for that. And they would meet from uh, and do an hour of exercise to video. So they don't have an instructor in front of them. They just put it on our big screen TV and they do the exercise to the video. Also our ping pong, you can come and play ping pong, and that is not an extra charge. That's included in the membership. Uh, clogging is also another thing you can come. That's not an extra fee for that. That's a membership. But line dancing, I teach three line dancing classes a week, and we do charge $10 for a year for unlimited amount of classes that you would go on top of the membership. Like today, I started my new beginner, my basic beginner class was today. So the people coming in, they just pay $10, and they can come for the, for the whole year then. Um, we also have Strong Women, which is actually a part, that is a class that is taught through the UW Extension. You would pay them, it's a 12-week class, they meet twice a week, and you would pay them and they rent the facility for the space that they use. Um, and that's about $30 for the 24 classes. Also, Tai Chi is done the same way you would pay per class as, as you come. And then we also have an exercise room with three treadmills, a bike, and just it's free to our members. As long as you're a member, you can come in and use those uh, pieces of equipment anytime. Okay, so that sounds like a lot of fun for the members at mm -hmm. the Senior Center. Can you talk to me about the different art classes that you have? Um, the, uh, the art classes that we have are watercolor on Monday, um, Big D's art class on Wednesday, and then we have a drawing and painting class on Friday. Okay, can you talk to me about the different kind of card or different kind of games that you have? Yes, we have a lot of those. Um, uh, our card games that we have are Euchre, Duplicate Bridge, Bingo, and there is a small fee for Bingo because um, the Bingo, whatever cash they bring in, they give out in prizes. So it's like $1.50 depending upon how many cards you get, but there's a little bit of a fee for Bingo. Canasta, Poker, and I believe they do they do a little bit of, it's like a dollar to play or something like that, because they do give out cash prizes. Sheep's Head 500 are the card games that we play at the Senior Center. Now the games that we have are Dominoes, Scrabble, and our new class that we have is called Manjong. I hope I pronounced that right. It's kind of like Dominoes that you work with tiles. So that is um, the newest game that we have started at the Senior Center. Okay, so lots of different kind of games for them to play. Can you talk to us? To us about music or any other kind of activities like that? Okay, um, our music that we have, we do have um, a mixed choir, that's our choristers, and they do not sing in harmony, so you don't have to know different parts in that one, and they meet on Mondays, and they also perform out in the community. They go to senior housing groups to perform, they go to nursing homes, you know, if anybody calls them up, they kind of do a variety of music, so depending upon the season, they'd be able to give you music for the season. We also have it's on most places don't, is we have a men's choir, and they are called the Troubadours. They meet on Tuesday, and they do sing in harmony. So it's wonderful here, but you do have to be a male to participate in that one. And then we have, um, today was dulcimer. I don't know, a lot of people don't know what dulcimer is, but it's an instrument that lays on your lap and you strum it, and that meets on Thursday, so you would have to have your own dulcimer to play that. Um, when we first started that class, I had no idea, but people said they had them in there closets so there that's a pretty big class and they learn and practice uh, music on the dulcimer um, also with the music we have on Mondays it's called the Water Street um, Jam and there you have to play an instrument but they just like they get together and and uh, play their instruments and music together and also we also have a big band on Fridays uh, we have a dance party and our Blue Velvet Band plays for them um, they have practice on Wednesday. You do have to play an instrument, to, but you can participate. If you play an instrument, you just come and um, join the band. And then every Friday we have a dance party for, for the people. And if you don't dance, you can just come and listen to the music. Great. So I know one of the things that the Senior Center puts out is the newsletter. Can you talk to us about what goes into making that? Yes, our newsletter is done on a monthly basis, and it's um, printed through LPI. 
and we just send them the information and they put it all together and uh, send it to us, which we have also advertisers in there. They get our advertisers, which help offset the cost of printing the newsletter. And we do that every month. In fact, our October one is just out. So, and they're free of charge for anyone that wants to pick them up. They can pick them up at our senior center. Um, also, you can have it mailed to you, but we do charge a dollar per month and it's prorated. So if you come in and you want a newsletter in January and delivered, it'd be $12. But if you would come in at June, it's only $6. So we do prorate it depending upon the month that months that you want it delivered to your home. So we can do that. Okay. But other than that, they're free of charge. But we also take them to businesses throughout town. Um, they can get them right here at the library, um, Old Town Mall, Citrus Cafe, all of the housing, senior housing um, apartment complexes, we do take them there. Look at uh, by your mailboxes. That's where we put the stack when we take them in. Okay, so one of the great services to the public that the Senior Center puts out is the availability to rent rooms. What kind of rooms can they rent and what are the different kind of prices for them? Well, we have our Riverview room. That's our largest room that's upstairs on, on our second floor. And that holds about 120 to 150 people. We've had weddings, anniversaries, birthday parties up there. It costs um, $200 for five hours. So that's pretty reasonable. And then we have smaller rooms like our hearth room, our community room, our um, arts and crafts room. Depending upon what it is you want, that was, that's only $75 to rent. So that's pretty reasonable. And then we also have a commercial grade kitchen. And we have two prices for that, depending upon if you just want to use a partial kitchen or a full kitchen, depending upon if you're going to cook in it. And then, then you just come down. Oh, the, other, the new thing that we have is the alcohol permit. Um, before, you could not have alcohol in the senior center. But now, if you purchase a permit for $25, you can have alcohol. And the only, only other requirement is, is that you have a, uh, bar, uh, someone with a bartending license on the premise when you have your um, party or your event. Okay, so the Senior Center is a great place for the public to uh, mm -hmm. throw an event just in town here. So I know also that the Senior Center is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Can you talk to us about a brief history of the Senior Center? Yes, I'll give you a brief one. Um, our Senior Center is housed in the very first library here in Janesville. It is the only neoclassical building in Janesville, which was built in 1902. It is one of the first Carnegie libraries built in Wisconsin. In 1967, the library then was relocated to its present site, which we are in now, and the recreation department at that time occupied the upstairs, the second floor of the library, and our senior center was at in the lower part. But in, it was officially dedicated as a senior center in 1968. There was an increase in population uh, and the programming was increasing that they were just getting too small. So the recreation department moved out and moved closer over to City Hall. And then the senior center took over both the upstairs and the downstairs. Now, after a while, there's, there started being repairs and things to the facility. So in 1985 was the first renovation that they did on the building. And then in 2000, the senior center had another uh, full renovation, including they put on the addition on the senior center, which it currently now stands. Okay, so now we don't have much time left. I know there are lots of things that we didn't cover today, such as different activities or membership benefits of the senior center. Where can people go to find out more information about these things? Well, actually, you can come right into our facility. Now, seeing that uh, when you come down Main Street and you see the old library uh, with the stairs in the front, you actually cannot come in through Main Street. You want to go to the back door, which is the, uh, located at 69 South Water Street. That's our current address um, uh, for the Senior Center. You can also visit us on the City of Janesville's website. You can go there and find, we list everything currently that we are doing at the Senior Center on the website. Also become a Facebook. We have, we are on Facebook. You can just mark us as a friend and just join us. And also you can just contact our Senior Center by just calling us at 755-3040 and we will answer any questions that you have. Okay, so to close, we're gonna end with rapid fire questions. So the way that this works is I'm going to ask you a question and you have to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. So the first one is I know that you do a lot of cooking with different kind of activities and events that go on at the Senior Center. Um, 
where did you learn to cook or what's your favorite thing to cook? Well, actually, I'm a baker. I like to bake. Um, that started when I was in 4-H, but um, I'm actually a better baker. But I have really improved my cooking skills by working at the senior center because usually when we do a special event, we do all home cooked meals. Um, we, we didn't cover, we are not a meal site. So we do all the cooking in-house in our commercial grade kitchen. So that's where you can come and eat a good meal. Okay, so now what is your favorite restaurant in Janesville? My favorite restaurant is El Jardin's. Um, I love Mexican food and they have great margaritas there. Yeah, that sounds great. Do you have any uh, hobbies that you do outside of work? Yes, I do. Um, I, my husband and I do ride our bikes a lot. We use the bike trails here in Janesville on a regular basis. Um, we also have a boat, so we boat a lot in the summer. I love to garden and I, we both like to travel. Okay, uh, as we wrap up, do you have any last thoughts? Um, yes, our Senior Center is really a fun place where you can learn something, stay active, and make new friends. So that's the key to staying young these days. Okay, well thank you Janet for taking the time out of your day to come talk to us about the Senior Center. If you as an audience member have any comments about this program or like to see something co covered in it, please contact me by email or by phone. In addition to tuning into this program on a monthly basis, there are many ways to stay connected to the city of Janesville through our Facebook page, through our Twitter, through the Janesville Police Department's Nixo page, or by receiving our weekly press releases. For Park Place Views and the city of Janesville, I'm Andrew Eppen. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next month. The City of Janesville, Wisconsin's Park Place. Our mission is to innovatively provide effective municipal services that are responsive to the needs of residents, businesses, and visitors, and delivered in a reliable, efficient manner in order to sustain Janesville as the community of choice. The city workforce has identified four core organizational values. Adaptability, respect, service, communication. Adaptability, we are creative and flexible in response to our community's changing needs. Respect. We embrace diversity, empathy, and collaboration through a foundation of mutual respect. Service. We serve with kindness, integrity, and professionalism. We are accountable for making ethical and innovative decisions that reflect community-driven goals. Communication. We value transparency through honest and clear communication. Our staff consists of over 530 employees working around the clock in many different areas. The city manager's office, the city assessor's office, the city attorney's office, the clerk treasurer's office, the accounting division, the human resources division, the information technology division, the police department, the fire department, Economic Development, the Hedberg Public Library, JATV Media Services. The Department of Public Works oversees seven divisions within the city. Engineering, Operations, Technical Services, Parks, 
Building and Development Services, Planning Services, Utilities. The Neighborhood and Community Services Department oversees three divisions within the city. Recreation, Housing and Property Maintenance, the Janesville Transit System. The diverse programs and services our staff provides help us achieve our strategic goal, downtown. To position our downtown as a vibrant neighborhood where commerce, culture, entertainment, and history intersect. Economy. To facilitate continued growth and diversification of our local economy. Financial sustainability. To remain a responsive and forward-thinking steward of financial resources. Image and engagement to strategically communicate the city's strengths, priorities, and initiatives while maintaining trust and confidence through effective engagement. Infrastructure, to build upon the community's foundation of well-planned, maintained, dependable, and sustainable infrastructure. Partnerships, to embrace and enhance collaboration with local regional, national, and global stakeholders to realize shared success. Performance culture, to cultivate an organizational environment that empowers an engaged, innovative, and diverse municipal employee base. Rock River Corridor, to promote, enhance, and respect the unifying feature of our community safe and healthy community to advance safety and overall well-being of residents and neighborhoods through cooperation and encouraging an active lifestyle. We work towards these goals because we believe in the Janesville community's vision statement. Wisconsin's Park Place. Discover the community of choice to realize life's opportunities.